take this mock-up art and add a displacement map and also a shadow layer to add realism to the mock-up. So let's start from scratch with this shirt that is comprised of the original image. And then I made a selection of just the shirt only and made it white. And then we have the flat art on top. So to make the displacement map, I'm going to command click on the shirt only, but go down to this original layer here and then go under layer, new layer via copy. Now on this layer, I'm going to go to filter blur gaussian blur and i'll blur this somewhere in the four to five pixel range next image adjustments desaturate and then image adjustments levels here i'm really going to pull out the contrast in this shirt here now i'm going to throw everything else away out of the file and then save as a Photoshop file and name it displacement and now reopen the original file with the artwork go to that art layer and then under filter distort open displace up I'm going to start with nine and nine to see if that works well keep these where they're at Hit OK. This will bring up the finder where we will select that displacement map we just made and hit open. And then you can see the art warps to fit the contours of the shirt. Now to add extra realism, we're going to put a shadow layer on top that continues the lines in the shirts that are created from the shadows. So let's take a copy of the shirt, which is right here. Just drag down and make an extra copy. And I'm going to drag that on top of everything. I'm going to set this layer to multiply. Sometimes linear burn works, so you can play with those. But initially, we'll go with multiply. And then I'll bring up the levels again. And this is where I can pull back so that the shirt doesn't change too much in the color. I'm really just worried about this shadow here, but I don't want to darken the image too much. So about right there. So you can see that the shirt is extending the shadows out over the top here. Another issue, as you might see, look at the color of the shirt shifting. All we really need is the shadows on the design itself. So that's pretty easy just by command clicking on the art layer and now adding a layer mask to our shadow. Now just the shadows remain in the art layer. And here's the final image.